Let's talk about practicing. We're talking about practice, man. I mean, how silly is that? What are the causes of poor practice? What makes effective practicing? And is practicing just a waste of time? Obviously not. Practicing isn't a waste of time if it's done effectively, but just hear me out. You're a fucking punk, dude. <laughs> the truth is, practicing sucks. There's no glory, there's no immediate reward, and there's no validation when you practice. Practicing is also hard to do. It takes a lot of stamina, it takes a lot of willpower, it takes a lot of sustained focus. It also hurts your ego. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and come to terms with the fact that you are not where you want to be. Branford Marsalis was right. Students today are completely full of sh So what are some common pitfalls of poor practicing? Lack of goal setting. I often hear students say something along the lines of, I don't know what to work on. While this might be true at times, with a little bit of imagination, it's pretty easy to reinvent the mundane. Here's some general considerations for any instrument. Have you tried modifying the tempo? How about the key? What about the dynamics of what you're working on? Can you play the material in different registers on your instrument? Can you modify the timbre? The possibilities are endless. Focusing only on your strengths and ignoring your weaknesses. How can you discover areas for improvement? You can record yourself. You can use audio or video. You can assess your technique by practicing in front of a mirror. Isolate one area for improvement and target that during your practice. Neglecting the fundamentals. The most important thing you can do with this instrument is not play fast, not play solos, but get a good sound. This doesn't just apply to jazz musicians or double bassists. The most important thing you can do with your instrument is to play it functionally and with a good sound. Nothing is less impressive, yet gets you more work than playing your instrument the way it should be played. So what are some causes of poor practice? Comfort zone bias. You might gravitate towards practicing familiar or comfortable material, as opposed to challenging yourself with unfamiliar material. Playing stuff you already know feels comforting and it provides you with some instant gratification. You automatically sound good. Unfortunately, it's not optimal for growth. Good practice will feel like jumping into cold water. Impatience or unrealistic expectations. You might become frustrated if you don't see immediate results. This might lead to a lack of motivation or consistency in your practice. You suck! You are no talent! If you really had talent, don't practice! Rome wasn't built in a day, so have patience and trust the process. You suck. Distractions and interruptions. External distractions like, well, most obviously your cell phone or noise or interruption from others can easily disrupt your practice routine. These difficulties are only compounded by the pressures of social media. This is a video for another time. Here's some advice that you can put into practice now. Establish a practice routine. Create a consistent practice schedule and stick to it. This is not just having a time or place to practice, but also a consistent practice warm up. Allow this sense of routine to set your focus in the practice room. Another thing you can do is turn off your electronic device. If you practice today, but didn't post about it on Instagram, did it even happen? You're a fucking punk, dude. Whether it's working on a new fingering system or tackling some unfamiliar repertoire, set a goal and focus on achieving that goal. Stay organized, don't just wing it in the practice room. Create a system for practicing, put it on paper, and follow it with discipline. Most importantly, don't forget to take short breaks while you practice. It's really important to stay hydrated, to make sure you're eating well, and to give your mind some breaks. Feel free to leave a comment and thank you for watching. All right, see you next time.